I didn't. I didn't email her because the quarter was awful. The quarter was yes. awful for Bristol Myers. It really was. So her move was wasn't really a bad thing. Other than Merck, it was the worst. There was no upside. I saw nothing good to it. I'm not even sure about the acquisition they made. I'm very disappointed in Bristol Myers. Eight out of the ten wow. uh, products in their pipeline, eight out of the ten missed expectations. That's right. I mean, Didn't that's just... Didn't it feel Allergan-like under, the, under the, the, like the final oh. Saunders moments, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. It was. Oh, you're laughing. Oh you know I'm yes. right. And, so, gro and, gro wow. and gross, mar and oh, gross margins Mars. were gross margins were only and gro gross margins only held up because R and D was less. Well, why do we want a, 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 pharma, a pharma company to spend less on R and D? We want them to spend on R and D, right? So I would have been okay if margins missed on the higher R and D, but they they didn't. Um, and I just think that they're pulling back, and I. It doesn't make any sense. So United Healthcare is the growth name in healthcare for me in my portfolio. And then if I want yield and tr something trading at 10 times, which is what Bristol trades at, well, AT&T trades at 10 times and you get a 6.5% yield and he's starting to execute. So to me, I, I just kind of felt like this is probably dead money, I think, for a while. I agree. It's sad to say. But I, well, I, I, know. I never expected. I think it's got, it was like, I don't know, maybe it was an ACL. I mean, what did it get? Bristol was an ACL, or was it an Achilles? I think it might have been an Achilles. A couple seasons. I'm redshirting Bristol Myers. Uh, Damian Woody's going to be on. See if he wants to redshirt it next season.